वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज पंकज सिंह एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्लेटर्स रूल दैट इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एंड शील्डिंग कॉन्स्टेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज यू नो आई होप यू नो दैट दिस टॉपिक स्लेटर्स रूल इज यूज टू फाइंड आउट द शील्डिंग और स्क्रीनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट सो फॉर दिस यू शुड नो दैट वॉट इज स्क्रीनिंग इफेक्ट एंड वॉट इज शील्डिंग इफेक्ट इफ यू डोंट नो आई रिकमेंड यू to first go through our video which we have created for explaining shielding effect and screening effect and after that you can come to this video in this video we are going to discuss about slater's rule and in slater's rule obviously as i just told you it is used to calculate the shielding or screening constant for example if i want to calculate screening or shielding constant of nitrogen or bromine or copper or something else the first step which i have to do is to write their electronic configuration in this order that means i have to write the orbitals in some groups in first group uh, orbitals of first shell then 2s 2p in one group then 3s 3p in one group and we'll keep 3d separately then 4s and 4p in one group 4d separately 4f separately and similarly 5s 5p in one group 5d would be another group and 5f would be in another group so this is the way you have to learn that in this way first of all we have to uh, arrange the orbitals or the electronic configuration of an element okay after that identify the electron of interest now what does this mean uh give me a minute for example identify the electrons of interest for example i have to find out the screening or shielding constant for 4p orbital or for the electrons present in 4p orbital so first of all i'll identify that of which orbit or of which subshell or of which group of electron i have to find for which i have to find out uh, the shielding constant and ignore all the electrons in higher group if i have to calculate the screening or shielding constant for 4p electron i will be ignoring all the groups which are coming after 4p because they are not going to participate in shielding okay because the shielding is done only by inner electron so whatever electrons are present after 4p i'll ignore that simply okay after that now slater's rule is broken into two cases and what are the two cases the first case is if i have to find out uh the shielding constant for s or p orbital electron just like in this example i have taken 4p electron then for s and p orbital electrons the rules are different and if i had to calculate for any d electron like 4d or 3d then the rules would be slightly different okay first let's talk about s and p if i have to calculate for example for 4p what i come to know that the first thing electrons within the same group shield 0.35 same group means whatever electrons are present in the group of p that is 4s and 4p these would be be providing 0.35 the electrons with n minus 1 that means these one will will shield 0.85 and the electrons with n minus 2 or lower these all will shield 1 let us understand this with an example what is shielding constant experienced by 2p electrons in nitrogen atom so first thing which i have to do is to write electronic configuration of nitrogen that is 1s2 2s2 2p yes it would be 2p3 next thing is which i have to do is to arrange them in groups and the group is here like 1s 2s and 2p i did just like this okay now what will i do i'll follow the rules 
electrons with the same group same group shield 0.35 i have to find out for 2p electrons okay so uh, how many electrons are there in the same group there are total 5 electrons in this group i have to find out the shielding constant of one electron so they are remaining four electrons and each will be contributing 0.35 so there were total five electrons in this group for one electron i have to find out the shielding constant so they are remaining four electrons and those four electrons will be contributing sorry <coughs> 0.35 each okay the next electrons with n minus 1 shield 0.85 n minus 1 means one group lower than this that is 1s there are two electrons in this one and each would be shielding 0.85 electrons with n minus 2 there is nothing called n minus 2 so i'll have to limit up to here So the actual answer is two into zero point eight five plus four into zero point three five, which comes out to be three point one zero. So what I come to know that for uh, an electron of p orbital of nitrogen atom, the shielding is the shielding constant is zero point three. 3.10 now effective nuclear charge is atomic number minus shielding constant this is denoted by sigma so atomic number of nitrogen is yes what is atomic number of nitrogen tell me it is 7 minus shielding constant we have just calculated 3.10 so effective nuclear charge for the p electron 2p electron is 3.9 only so this is how we calculate for p and s orbital electrons for d and f orbital electrons the rules are slightly changed that electrons within the same group will shield 0.35 and all the electrons of lower group will be sharing 4.1 sorry will be sharing 1 each and let us understand this with an example what is shielding constant experienced by 3d electron of the bromine atom for this obviously first of all i have to write out write down the electronic configuration of bromine 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, and 4p5. Now this is the electronic configuration general. The next step is to write down in groups like 1s2 in one group, 2s and 2p in next group. 3s and 3p in next group 3d would be after that after that 4s2 and 4p 5 this is how i have to arrange now as per the second rule okay i have to find out the shielding constant for 3d electrons so what will i do that i will ignore all the groups coming after 3d because they will not be participating in shielding constant okay after that now let's say 3d okay now next step would be uh as per the rule electrons within the same group shield 0.35 there are 10 electrons in 3d for one i have to find out the shielding constant so there are remaining nine electrons each will contribute 0.35 okay now before that 
as the second rule electrons within the lower groups shield 1.0 there is no case of n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 whatever electron are remaining in the lower group they are total 18 electrons in this case each will be shielding one the rule is simplified here so in this case it would be 18 into 1 plus 9 into 0 0.35 is equal to 21.15 fine that's it and then again i can find out z effective by z minus sigma sigma is 21.15 and what is atomic number of bromine that is 35 minus yes it is 35 minus 21.15 so it comes out to be 13.85 so this is the effective nuclear charge experienced by d10 electron in bromine atom i hope this was clear to you now this all slater rule is simplified in this structure in this diagram for snp orbital the n electrons participate 0.35 n minus 1 participate 0.85 rest of the lower participate 1 for dnf electron n1 that means the same group participate 0.35 and all the lower ones participate or, 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 or they contribute by one. I hope these things were clear to you. You can practice a number of different questions on this. And if there is any doubt or if something is not clear, you can always ask in our comment section. Stay tuned for more videos of organic and organic and physical chemistry. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.